Seeds, thank you very much. And supremacy. Our Father in heaven, we thank you for your grace and mercies of our lives as people of Ghana. Father, we thank you. Thank you for how far you have brought us. This is the day you have made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Bless the nation whose God is you, the almighty God. The people whom you have chosen as your inheritance. Thank you for blessing us. Honorable Francis Asenso Kwache. Also supporting us this morning is the Greater Accra Regional Minister, Honorable Ni Kwate Titus Clover. He basks in great pride this morning, ladies and gentlemen, because his ministry has chalked yet another major milestone. Member of Parliament for Ofwase Ayurebi constituency in the Eastern Region of Ghana and also Minister for Works and Housing, Honorable Koju Opong Nkrumah. Your Excellency, you have entrusted him with many assignments since you took office. Currently, you have assigned him to matters of the interior. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, please Help me acknowledge the presence of the Member of Parliament for the Ayawaso Central Constituency and also Minister for the Interior, Honourable Henry Quarter.
Before these years that he has served the nation as its president and commander in chief of the Ghana Armed Forces. Anytime we reach such an important milestone, such as commissioning projects as big as these, his demeanor is different and the kind of smile he wears on his face is different. It is purely because of the passion to see us grow as much infrastructure across the centers of this nation. So on that note, ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to welcome our guest of honor, His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Ghana and Commander-in-Chief of the Ghana Armed Forces, Nana Adodankwa Ekufuado. Your Excellency, the people of Ghana are listening. Clergy, Great Accra Regional Minister, Minister for the Interior, and Member of Works and Housing, and Member of Parliament for Fwasi AEDB, Minister for Roads and Highways, and Member of Parliament for Bantama, the Minister for Gender, Children, and Social Protection, and Member of Parliament for Kankwe South, Deputy Minister for the Interior, a member of parliament for Gumwa Central, Metropolitan Chief Executive of the Accra Metropolitan Assembly and other MMDCEs, Inspector General of Police, Deputy Inspector General of Police, members of the Police Management Board, Controller General of the Ghana Immigration Service, Chief Fire Officer of the Ghana Fire Service. Senior officers, officers, men, women, and civilian employees of the Ghana Police Service. The Managing Director of the Contractor, Amandi Holdings Limited. Fellow Ghanaians, ladies and gentlemen, I'm happy to be here today to commission 320 housing units for the police service in Tessano, Accra. This milestone is not just a testament to our determination to improving the living standards of our security personnel, but also a key step forward in our national quest for enhanced security and safety. In so saying, I'd like to use this platform to congratulate that long-serving, respected law enforcement officer, Commissioner of Police, Mr. Christian Tete Yuonu, on his elevation to the Office of Deputy Inspector General of Police, with responsibility for operations. I have no doubt that as in the past, Deputy IGP Yuonu will be a good team player and contribute his full quota to the flourishing of an effective, efficient police service. This morning, we're witnessing the realization of a promise, a vision that has been in the making for some time now. The Security Services Housing Project, which we embarked upon in 2018 during my first term of office, is aimed at providing decent housing for our gallant men and women in uniform. These 320 housing units symbolize our resolve to ensure that those who risk their lives daily to protect us have a safe and comfortable place to cohesive co accommodation. It enhances their morale and improves considerably their effectiveness in maintaining law and order. It is a well-known fact that a well-housed police force is a more motivated and productive one. With these new housing units, we're taking a crucial step towards creating well the government's commitment to addressing the housing deficit within the security services. We recognize the challenges faced by our police officers and their families, and we're determined to provide solutions that will alleviate these difficulties. This project is a reflection of our broader agenda to ensure that every Ghanaian, regardless of their professional rank, 
has access to decent and affordable housing. Indeed, in 2018, government embarked on the Housing for the Security Services program with the goal of increasing the housing stock for our security services. This initiative aims to provide the Ghana Police Service the necessary support to perform their duties effectively. Since the inception of this program, the Ministry of Works and Housing, through its Housing Directorate, has worked diligently to enhance the living conditions of our security services, exemplifying government's strong attachment, particularly to the police service. Today, the Ministry has delivered successfully 536 housing units under Phases 1 and 2 of the program. Phase 1, which entailed the construction of 168 housing units for the then Bureau of National Investigations in Tema, commenced in July 2012 and was completed in August 2014. Phase 2 involved the construction of 368 housing units for the Ghana Navy, located at Tema Newtown, i.e. Bankuban Cemetery Road, and was completed in 2018. Both these phases are currently in occupation. We are met here today to celebrate the completion of 320 new housing units at the Tesano Police Training School. These units include 112 two-bedroom type A, the 208 three-bedroom type B apartments, an officer mess, a social center, two multiple purpose playing courts, and a kindergarten school. By providing these modern, well-equipped housing facilities, we aim to improve the quality of life for officers, men and women of the police service, and help create a conducive environment motivates them and enhances their operational readiness. This project will undoubtedly have a positive impact on the police community, serving as a model for other security services and illustrating our dedication to delivering high quality housing solutions that meet current standards of comfort, sustainability, and safety. The benefits of this ambitious project extend beyond providing shelter. It also improves the quality of life for our police officers and their families, creating a sense of security and stability that I'm confident will be reciprocated with their wholehearted enthusiasm to duty. Ladies and gentlemen, the Security Services Housing Project is part of a comprehensive strategy to enhance the capacity of our security agencies. It goes hand in hand with our efforts to provide modern equipment, advanced training, and better working conditions for our police force. We believe that a holistic approach is necessary to create a robust and effective security system. By addressing the various needs of our security personnel, we're laying a solid foundation for a safer and more secure Ghana. It is important to acknowledge the collaborative efforts that have made this project possible. The Ministry of Works and Housing, the Ministry of the Interior, the Police Service, the Contractor Amandi Holdings Limited, engineers, architects, and all the stakeholders in, involved deserve commendation for their hard work. Your collective efforts have ensured the successful completion of these housing units, and I'm confident that the beneficiaries will reciprocate and appreciate and take good care of these facilities. The project is a good example of what can be achieved when we work together towards a common goal. It is a reminder that despite the challenges we may face, we have the capacity to overcome them and create a, better, a brighter future for all Ghanaians. 
to the officers who will soon call these housing units home. I want to say that this is a reward for your loyalty and service to our nation. You are the backbone of our security. And it is only fitting that you are provided with the necessary resources to perform your duties effectively. These houses are not just buildings. They are a token of our appreciation for the sacrifices you make every day. As we commission these housing units today, I want to remind everybody that this is part of ongoing efforts to improve the living conditions of our security personnel. We will continue to work tirelessly to address the housing needs of all our security services and ensure that they are well equipped to save our nation. In conclusion, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to emphasize the government's obligation to supporting our security services. We acknowledge your sacrifices and will continue to invest in your welfare. So let us continue to work together, hand in hand, to build a Ghana of which we can all be proud. A Ghana where every citizen feels safe, secure, and valued. A Ghana where our security personnel are well equipped and well housed, ready to protect and serve. Accordingly, ladies and gentlemen, I have the great honor and pleasure to declare phase three of the Security Services Housing Project duly launched. May God bless the police service and us all. And may God bless our homeland Ghana and make her great and strong. I thank you for your attention. Recently appointed.